Your girl is a Taurus sun. Let's get into your messages. Because loving yourself is loving your twin. Can't nobody tell you who to be with, okay? I love what I do. We done with that. Somebody said it for me. Y'all ready to do it? Tap the fuck in, okay? Hello, collective. Welcome. Let's get into a message that I want to address this week. For the tower readings, what I've been picking up on is a lot of exes and karmics coming back. Um, when you are headed into union with a twin flame and uh, or headed into union with a divine counterpart of a high vibration, the karmics are not the one for you. Be mindful of that. They have an ulterior motive. All I'm doing is shuffling, but we are already about to get into it. Thank you for your support in whichever way that you choose to do that. I have launched my Patreon for those that are interested. Um, what happened to me was in the same week that I was getting ready to reconcile with my twin flame after four months, I didn't know he was coming. The telepathy definitely picks up, um, more songs, more dreams, more vibes, more random emotions that are not my own. Um, those are vibes of your twin flame in your energy or, um, a lot of times you often get. In my experience of being a reader, you often get desperate or yearning for some kind of partnership. And then uh, either karmics will be on their way to supply that for you. Or the universe will test you to see if you're ready for a divine union with a few karmics from your past. So what had happened was I had a karmic or a soul. I don't even know what he is. All I know is he wanted lust, so I'm going to call it a karmic. Um, text me hey i miss you i ain't seen you in a while can i see you now this man has never done any wrong to me we never had sex so i didn't think nothing of it i'm like okay well maybe it's time for me to move on it's been four months since i seen or talked to my twin let's see um sure enough i trusted him enough because we grew up together for the collective with these karmics coming back what are the intentions to give him my address um we have a similar family um basically my dad's side has a cousin in the middle of us on his mom's side it's weird but anyways i gave him my address and we out we were outside and we were talking and of course he groping on me and all of that oh you're so beautiful and my twin texts me out of nowhere like Ooh, i go i feel some buzz in my pocket but my heart flooded i'm like who the fuck it was <laughs> It was weird. I didn't look at my phone until I went in the house. Some said, you need to go in the house. So I go, <laughs> I go in the house, and it was my twin. I was like, oh, shit. And we got running out of time in divine timing as I'm speaking. Running out of time in divine timing as I'm running my goddamn mouth. So perhaps there was divine timing right on time for me to avoid a Jezebel. Or perhaps something with my twin felt like now's the time to reach out. Or maybe he felt like he was running out of time on an energy level. I don't know. Uh, he saved me because sure enough, I found out about Jezebels um, in my life. I know that they exist, but I'm like, damn, these people, I never would have thought no, no. Like, damn, like, they, they were cool people. They were distractions. Now, the way you get a distraction from another human you look like they look like they're normal and they mean no harm you can have a person that vibes low a lot of drinking a lot of partying a lot of fucking a lot of cuss low vibing someone can send energy distract let's say i have an ex that would like to hex my love life he can just send people uh in my direction that have ill intentions for me or attach something do a reading attach something to the next person that comes my direction so once i mate or mingle with them there goes my love life or i'm caught up in a contract with this karmic who i'm in love with and i don't know my worth and i want them to stay and i'm codependent and some love is better than no love i'm too wise for that i checked his ass and said you're not coming in my house you can't meet my kids you gotta go i said spirit if anyone has any malicious or ill intentions for me remove them out of my life I hand you the keys. Please take the will. Divine intervention on me, please. I grant you my free will. That's what I tell my spirit team. Leave me out of it. Y'all handle it. Be careful of your exes coming back. It came out in too many readings. And I have a few comments. Taurus video, Leo video, for sure. And I believe it came out in this Scorpio video that I just posted. A lot of exes coming back to distract you or your person foolish decision 
okay be mindful even if you ever even even when you get your lowest of low desperate of desperate lonely of lonely do not return to your past we in spirituality this is mystic marie tarot and guidance so why the fuck would you allow an ex to resurface why did y'all break up what happened yeah people evolve people change but if it's not something intertwined like a twin flame or and i'm not giving twin flames a toxic past i'm saying because you need boundaries i'm saying if it's not is if it, it has no divine purpose to help you heal and become a better you and all you're doing is repeating and being hopeful that this person has changed but it's blocking you from changing and growing twin flames are too hard you go back to the corner twin flames are very hard <laughs> You be like, this motherfucker did this and did that. And you forgot to look at yourself because it's a twin flame. Yeah, twin flames are hard. Of course you run to your karmic. Of course you let your karmic come in and out of your life. Of course you let your twin come in and out of your life. Because you got to look at yourself. What are you not doing? What are you not seeing? So, I reflected. I laid back and I just was like, wow. A lot of readers start talking about around the same week, Jezebel's. And some reader was like, uh, she called him the wrong, two readers. They said the name wrong. It's not Amitadil or whatever, or Amodadil. It's Asmodeus. And it's the demon. It, I ain't going to get him no govern. It is one of many, one of very strong demons that will bring lust and destruction into your life. In a Jezebel spirit, male or female. And the first thing, when you encounter a karmic, they want to fuck. They want to cuddle. They want you to slide on them and come pull up. They want you to come over. And um, it's like, not that soulmates don't want to just hang out at home, homebodies. It's it's a vibe. It's like, a, that be the direct motive. Or you may get the subliminals. Where I have a devil card where um, she has a strawberry on her tail. And um, it's a trickery, seduction, charming. Like take you out on dates and wine and dine you. Or tell you everything you need to hear. Especially the men. To make you feel needed, wanted. Give you that hero effect. It's a distraction. Um, a lot of times telltale signs when your twin flame or a high level soulmate is coming in. Is random people from your past testing you to see if you deserve or want your future watch this card be the, to test you to see if you want or deserve your future and a lot of times i should have just picked the damn deck up <laughs> that's funny a lot of times you fall for it. you go well we did have a good thing no and sometimes you get newcomers you be like yeah breath of fresh air nope if you meet somebody and they needy and desperate right away, that's telltale sign of a leech. Here are the contracts of being binded to the devil. These lust demons right here entertaining these devils, they laughing, they cackling in the darkness. Satanic type shit, lust. That's how you get stuck in a contract, a karmic contract. This is a karmic contract. Low vibrational. That's how you get stuck. And you'll be wondering, why I keep attracting these type of people? You're not attracting these type of people. You accepting these type of people. Because you ain't, you ain't, you paint the, you paint, you paint the red flags white. But let's get into this reading. We have third party. Other mate responsibilities. Dating or involved with others or too many responsibilities. People will come into your life. They need your help. Damsel in distress. They come in uh, wanting you to be a part of it. Twin Flames will do you like this too. That's why you need boundaries. Wanting you to be a part of their life that they have the inability to let go. Mary, baby mama, baby daddy. Running out of time. There are a lot of contracts where these karmics are supposed to get you. Loop you in a bind. They're running out of time because they have not paid up. Some of you like me, or unable to get God. So these people who have contracts working for Satan, Lucifer, Morningstar, whatever you call this being, bow, 
bail, whatever. They ain't got what they what he asked for. So these lives of luxury and these cars and these clothes and these offerings and these rituals that they're doing and they ain't coming back with you. Mm -hmm. They're running out of time. For some of you, there are some contracts that you have not fulfilled or closed out. You're running out of time. I don't know what your time in in. I don't know when the time in what that means. You know. You might be stuck for 20, 30, 40 years with a broken marriage or a broken relationship. You may be stuck to a life of poverty. I'm not wishing nothing on it. I don't know what it is. I know it ain't good. Some may even be, okay, you're going to be old, crinkly, and wrinkly for the rest of your life lonely. Because you keep allowing current partners in your life and you finally say fuck love, fuck heal, and fuck everybody, including your twins and your soulmates because you got your trust fucked up so you block everybody out. Well, you wasted this lifetime. Yep. If you block everybody out because you just don't know who to trust, that's a cop out. And you're going to cop out and opt out your whole life. Take a break on alcohol. When you are low vibrational, see, I accidentally seen my aura. Basically, it's a certain type of lighting. Lighting. You move your arm and you can see mine is transparent. I'm a chameleon aura. Clear aura. Mind your business. <laughs> but you it's a certain type of lighting you can move your arm and you can see like a trace of your aura that is showing your vibration one there's many things when you are vibing low you have no barrier your aura is tainted and easy to get got your chakra systems are fucked up and demons lust people you fall for it if you drinking you woozy and people come in and you ain't on point or you ain't keen or you ain't tapped in whatever you want to say when you low by when you low, okay shots a few drinks cool whatever it's a celebration okay that's on you follow up with water what i'm saying is be careful of your vulnerability this says take a break on alcohol it ain't say stop drinking but maybe i don't know depending on how much you drink because alcohol will be the devil Many, many, many things comes in this vibration. It could be alcohol abuse. People coming to your life. You got to practice celibacy right behind that. So we got devil energy. Practice celibacy. For your highest good, stronger connection with self and the divine realm. When you are vibing low, you are susceptible. Easily to get God of low vibrations. Making foolish decisions because you woozy and you can't see or think straight. When I say see, I mean see. Third eye see. Intuitive. Because a lot of distractions are coming in. Because there's a lot of unions. We in the month of the lovers. June. Six. Unity. Harmony. Balance. And the lovers. Twin flame. Soulmates. Coming together. And the opposing side of that is lust. Lust demons. Incubus. Succubus motherfucking um jezebels what else spirit what you want me to discuss for these jezebel spirits what's the motives what does the collective future boyfriend future girlfriend sideways see that sideways they want to block it next what else because i haven't said that getting in the way in reverse karmic partner Meant to teach you lessons in life. Meant to provoke growth. Possibly trying to block your path. That's what they are. In reverse, you're supposed to stay away from them. They're trying to distort themselves not to be karmic. It's a... <laughs> they coming in your life acting like they are worthy of commitment. Tricking you. They are by right, birth, whatever, contract, you're karmic. Karmics have a purpose. Are you going to fail or succeed in overcoming their purpose? The devil got dominion. The devil has a fucking group, fallen angels, whatever you want to say about this, this energy. Behind him or it. I believe in energy. These people come into your lives pretending not to be karmic. Looking like they are not karmic. Oh, you think wealth is a symbol of uh fruit that people bear you got to be careful of that too because how they get it
Selling your soul is a real thing. All you do is say, take me as I am. I don't care about nothing but money and uh, fame. I'll do whatever you want. A person that worked hard for their shit usually struggled early on. Duh. And you see the life of luxury, you got to wonder, did they do spell work or did they earn it? Me, I earned it. I grew, <laughs> I grew through the mud. As my twin will say, the trenches. And I got it on my own. Ain't no devil shit. It's spiritually protected. What else? Sideways. This could take weeks or it has lasted weeks. Now, with weeks coming out sideways, I feel like there's something going on here. Running out of time. Hanging in the balance. It wasn't supposed to be weeks and something has been prolonged further than what it was supposed to be it don't take long it don't take long to learn a lesson some of y'all have extended a contract that should have been closed out one by letting people reinsert one when you met this person you saw the red flags you was hopeful it wasn't supposed to go that long close it out that's a karmic in disguise what else a karmic for those that don't know a person meant to teach you lessons in life, meant to provoke growth, possibly trying to block your path, will beat, will beat the shit out of you, will steal from you, will manipulate you, will show you narcissism, will tell you you ain't shit, you ain't gonna never be shit if it wasn't for them this, if it wasn't for them that. You will start losing shit when you fucking with a karmic. You can be in college, drop out. You can have no kids, you got five or six, they ain't there. <laughs> You can have plenty of food in your fridge. They ain't eat it and they won't put it back. People that live in a hard space of a high vibration, they give. They got big hearts. These are divine beings. Have a pure heart. When you're dealing with a karmic, they take. The Bible was right about one motherfucking thing. Steal, kill, destroy. Destruction, corruption, chaos, whatever. Disaster, crisis. That's that energy right there. What else for? It's a setup. Woo! Tap the fuck in. Be careful. It's a setup. Be careful. Now listen. Like I just said moments ago, probably around eight minutes, seven minutes. You can have someone behind the scenes. They know you ain't fucking with them. But they can project failure and destruction or um, some kind of Jezebel into your life. All they have to do is read into you, scry into you, look into you. They can pick up on a person coming your way before you do. And put something on that person. Or send them your... It's Satan too. The devil too. Send them your way. It's energy. Your twin flame, when the twin flame decides that they on their way back to you, it set off some kind of shit in the in the, in the, in the, in the ether. Oh shit, the motherfuckers vibing closer together. I'm animated. Oh shit. It's like a ball of light, a ball of light. Y'all getting closer energetically. A karmic go, hello. In interception, football. Energy. You may be living your regular, regular earthly life, right? But energy you can't see. People be knowing what's coming your way before you do. Hell, I think my twin psychic. I am. Why wouldn't he be? He just be my. He might fucking just be knowing. I was outside with another guy, cuddled up, kind of. <laughs> my twin takes my phone. Hello. <laughs> I said, oh shit. How the fuck? Mm -hmm. What you doing? And he didn't even know. It just was like, hello? Hey. Nigga, I ain't talked to you in four months. You text me today? Oh. Income twin. It's a setup. Be careful. Your twin will pick up on that energy. Whether they know it or not. They'll come when the universe say, nigga, move. Bitch, move. Hey, brother, man, time to move. Hey, young lady, 
get the stepping in twins direction because here comes some distractions the universe don't want to bring you together trust they fucking know. the universe is the universe spirit knows when you need your motherfucking twin on your side because here comes some motherfucking demons yes i was shook that day i got in the house i looked at my phone i said I start comparing the time. I said, this dude text me right when this dude pulled up. Excuse me, twin. <laughs> what else, spirit? What do these folks need to know about these Jezebels? This could take months or it has been months. Some of you have extended connections further than they needed to go. Some of you lose faith. Lose hope. Oh, it's been months since I, like me, it's been months since I talked to them. I must be delusional. What nothing there. Cisco, my life is incomplete. Without you, girl, my life is in. Telepathy picks up hard when your twin ain't headed in your direction. Random songs, look up the lyrics. Okay. Some of you We'll be reconciling with your twin in months or a soulmate. A good one. Not, not, not these Jezebels. Or maybe a Jezebel could be on your way in a few weeks. I'm going to clarify them two cards because I don't like time. Because it's, it's a collective reading. What else, spirit? Karma is coming. Good or bad. What you put out, you will get back. Know that. Okay, so... Never mind, no clarification needed. These Jezebels is about to meet their dust. It's some months. So we in June. It ain't say years. Okay, within the next six months. By the end of the year, somebody gonna get their shit. Hallelujah. What else, spirit? Pull your energy back. From who? I'm about to cry. That's how tapped in I am. Put your energy back from who? Ex boyfriend? Ex girlfriend. It's a setup. <laughs> what else, spirit? Problems with the law sideways by connecting to you, by being in your life, you protect them and cover them from, from their karma. Mm hmm. It's kind of like you they alibi. Well, I was hanging out with that divine being. I'm good, right? No. As soon as this silly ass divine being cut you loose, you getting got karma. These people are smart. They'll connect to you, siphon your energy, manifest off of you to block you and to save themselves from karma. You ever met somebody who say they've been in an abusive relationship for 20, 30 years? You'd be like, where the fuck is karma at? Because she's still with the fool. He's still with her needy ass. He ain't cut her loose. You got to cut the cords. Physically and energetically. Or you say these motherfuckers. You can't be dealing with a karmic way past the contract. Sometimes you can see a karmic at the door. Pickaboo, who are you? Oh, never mind. That's me these days. Spirit ain't got to send me no more lessons. Not like that. Not no karmics. What else for these Jezebels? Rethink that idea or action. Burden, feeling weighed down, heavy load, debt, guilt, responsibility, stressful. Debt, guilt, responsibility, stressful situations. Rethink that or rethink that idea or action. When you connect yourself to a karmic, you lose everything slowly or sometimes abruptly your car your home your food your abundance yes and they may not some of them are demons and warlocks and witches not 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 light witches the dark ones and they do it on purpose but sometimes you can have a person so needy and desperate broken and damaged even divine beings go through some emotional issues I'm talking about these karmas. And you want to be there for them. But you are buffering their karma. So you get hit. You are the barrier. You like a shield over them. 
So instead of that motherfucker getting hit, you get hit. And they siphoning from you, who you are being a umbrella. Dummy? I mean, well, wake up. This is a wake up call. I want to lay down. I want to watch Netflix. Spirits say, you better put that video out. I say, I'm trying. I just left dinner. I want to be fat and lay the fuck. No. I got to do this reading. Because it was too many. Let me stop being ghetto. Because it was too many. Well, I am who I am. I'm a hybrid. I'm going to be ghetto. I can be glassy. Because... It was too many <laughs> readings this week where karmics are coming back. And it ain't just my personal situation. It ain't just in these collective Zodiac readers. I have a group chat. It's a couple people in my group chat. I'm like, damn, your karmics coming back too? Hidden factors. What else? For these Jezebels. Liar. Withholding info. Can't trust them. Ulterior motive. What else, spirit, for these Jezebels? Or should I switch sides? Won't give up. Some of y'all karmics won't leave you the fuck alone. Y'all will go, y'all will disappear from each other for months. Or y'all won't talk. And here they come. As soon as they get a alert that you got a newbie in your life. Or somebody you wanted to be with before and they interrupted. And y'all start back, twin flame shit. And y'all start back trying to get together. Here come that ex. And it ain't your, it ain't, if, okay, if it's your person ex, it ain't your fault. Your person keep letting the silly bitch back. Or the sneak back. For some of y'all, I'm going to use this air sign. This could be specific. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be one of y'all's karmics. But I'm going to use air sign as a, a vibration. No offense to any air signs. But air signs tend to be a little bit uh, aloof. Cold at times. Guarded. Or they lack empathy at times. Hopefully they got some fire and earth in their chart. Or water shit. Other element. Um, Hopefully some passion and some water. Okay, so this is the energy of being bothered. None. They are hard to satisfy. And um, it could be non-affectionate. Because everything needs to be making sense to them. And empathy and emotions could be a hard thing for them to fathom. We got recall, downloads, intuition, dreams, thoughts, or tarot card readings. There was a point in life where you received some kind of, uh, we got to keep going, moving forward. Where you received some kind of information, rather clairaudient, clairvoyant, class something, or a tarot reading from another clair, and you didn't, you didn't, you didn't take heed. Or you need to do a recall. Or perhaps you got a reading and told you this motherfucker alone. You ignored that. Perhaps you got a download or a red flag. You you let you let that you let it fly. No. I have a famous saying: X's or X's for a reason. Period. Ego. Coming out here will won't give up. Somebody gung ho on stopping you, blocking you, demanding that you pick them. Okay, some of y'all could, people could be connected to a cousin. What else? There go my karmic demon. Get out in nature, near water or near the trees. Some of y'all need to ground y'all self. Because y'all karmic demon is on y'all ass. Let me put him right there. I put his name on this card. Yeah, some of y'all karmic demon is on y'all ass. And you need to grind yourself so they can't get in your aura or your chakra system. Okay? Let me pull some uh, tarot cards. Let me break this shit down. Okay? Spirit, what you want me to mention about these Jezebels? Stand your motherfucking ground. Seven of Wands. Stay true to what you believe in. 
Especially if you want a twin flame. Cause I don't give a fuck if you ain't seen your twin flame in years. The mission is growth. And you can't grow fucking with a karmic. Or somebody from your past on that bullshit. If they fucked you over once, don't give them a second chance. I ain't talking about no old flings that never got off the ground. And I'm talking about people who showed you who they were. If they showed you, they don't like your ass, they hit your ass, they use your ass, they blew your tires out on your car, fuck them. What's up, spirit? What's the tea? These Jezebels. I'm about to talk shit. I ain't gonna call it no zodiac sign. We gonna talk shit. I am. Me and my team about to talk shit. Empress energy. Men, hold on. Or you listen up, men. For you women... If you are born into a divine rank or from a divine rank or you spiritually royal, royal, why the fuck do you, <laughs> why do you believe, think that you're supposed to be overextending, trusting a karmic or trusting a low vibrational being to come back into your life and do right by you if they've shown you the less? If you are a powerful manifester, highly creative, abundant by nature, and independent and fertile. Because you could be busting out babies, whoever you are. Why can't you see your worth? What's wrong with being single and sophisticated? Empress is... Um, it's a real thing. You got regular people that like regular lives. And you got divine beings that live in regular bodies that ain't nothing to be fucked with. On no level. It's an energy. So act like that. I meet too many women in my clients list. They say... They've been in abusive relationships. I'm going to help you do that. They've been back and forth with a karmic. I'm going to help you do that if you allow me to. Because those are hard. And they're not sure about their twin flame. Well, you should know what a twin flame is. You will feel it. It'll be the only motherfucker on the planet you can't get rid of energetically. And you, your heart calls out to them when shit go bad in your life. Every time something go wrong in your life, it's a one person a one being on this planet that your soul wants. Your soul go, oh shit, where my twin at? Fuck. You get the yearning. You can't ignore your soul. That shit will eat you up. Back to this empress. Having sex with a karmic partner that wants to siphon you, grow off your energy, manifest off your energy create off your energy and you looking silly you in a state of lack because you didn't gave your goodies away for one to karmic beings and your energy is tainted and it's being siphoned like a fucking vampire by a, a vampire for you men there's a certain type of woman you should see as ideal a empress is is it's a woman of stature that can create something out of nothing. That get it out the mud energy I spoke of. The empress can create because she's fertile with creativity or babies. She's a creator. She's co She's one with the universe. A co-creator with the universe. This is a woman you should be seeking. A woman that can help you and help herself. Why is an empress intimidating to most men? An independent woman. Why do men need a hero effect? Why do men need to feel wanted or needed? Something ain't right with you. 
If you walking out here, you need to feel wanted and needed. You got some codependency issues, some childhood trauma, some abandonment issues. You got some issues. Men have to find a way to heal too without being afraid to be vulnerable. Because how you heal is usually emotionally. So if you're emotionally fucked up, emotionally pulled back, emotionally unavailable, you can't heal all the way because you can't even tap into your motherfucking emotions. Most healing comes from five of cups, grief, sorrow. You got to touch that. You got to open that up. That's how you're going to process it. It's like a box. You need to put that table together. How the fuck you going to put a table together if you ain't open the goddamn Pandora's box? Look at it. Men, too often you turn away from your empress, your twin flame. You run. It's intimidating. Fuck. This woman will build you a motherfucking house if you let her. Most empress are tuned in to their masculine energy. That's intimidating. It's a balance. What else, spirit? Talk my shit. Knight of Cups. Oh, now we got psychics. Y'all need to follow y'all heart. And listen to your intuition. The Knight of Cups is also a person who can come in charming you. Trying to seduce you. They've been watching you. Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles. They've been looking into your contracts. Via astro travel. Via tarot card reading. Motherfuckers been getting tarot card readings on y'all too. They've been hacking into your dreams. Reading your mind. They could be psychic. It could be, they could be in cahoots watching you. Three of Pentacles, Page of Swords. There could be a masculine here that's into root work. Shamanism, herbs, and all of that. Voodoo. In cahoots with another, uh, with a group of bitches. So some kind of warlock. That's with third, with, yeah, third party, other, okay. That's uh, with people who don't mind doing the dirty work. There's that five of cups. That's for somebody out there. What else, spirit? Five of Pentacles, a sense of isolation and lack. They want you in this. They feel isolated. They feel lack without you. You left them out in the cold. You gave them the cold shoulder. This could be a motive. They want to block and stop your path and close shit out before you even find it. Receive it. Bring burdens and destruction into your life. Ten of Wands. These people have motives. To stop you, to block you. But this reading ain't got to be that long. Because it's repetitive. Final messages and advice, spirit. Eight of Cups. It's, I know it's difficult to walk away something that's familiar. Something you have emotional ties to. Something you used to. However you want to say it. It's a challenge. Sometimes you, you fully do turn your back on somebody. They come back. They pull on your emotions. They want back in your life. A contract is just that. You have a quit a job and had to go back in and re get do an interview or get rehired. That's what y'all doing. If the contract is done, you off the roster, they off your roster. Why are you resigning? You did that. You completed it. Why are we letting people back in our lives that have already shown us they didn't want to work there anyway? They didn't want to do the work when they were there anyway. It's over with. Again, desperation, codependency, childhood trauma. You will accept a human band-aid. A human band-aid is a motherfucker, a person, a being that you want in your life because you bleeding. You got a wound. So you get another human, like a rebound or a placeholder. Please sit right there for me real quick. Just, just stay. Just stay for a while. I'm hurt. I need a Band-Aid. A human Band-Aid. It's one thing to help somebody to heal, be a companion, keep them company. But when you start overextending yourself. What else, spirit? Ace of Wands, 
Queen of Pentacles. I can read this like lust or new passionate beginnings being sought after. You are in the energy of being very abundant and creative, male or female, working on self, loving on self, healing. Someone could definitely uh, be stalking, watching, spying. They won't let you go. You're single, you're doing good on your own. They won't back into your life. This Ace of Wands is a... Um, it's, it's, it's just a simple embodiment of new beginnings. When you are moving forward, some people want to come back and test you to see if you love yourself enough, male or female, to not tolerate the fact that they bring nothing to the table. They have no ambition. They have no fucking drive. They want what you got or they want you to take care of them. Oftentimes, I meet men, they say, I ain't got enough money to be in a relationship. Yes, never get into a relationship broke. Be stable. But if you stable and you say, I ain't got enough money to be in a relationship, what you trying to do? Trick off? Support this person 100% because society said that that's what make you a man? For you women, saying, I need a man that's going to take care of me is a broke bitch mindset. I don't give a fuck how you feel. Unsubscribe. Because this is a motherfucking empress. She don't need nobody to take care of her. Her. I'm a realist. Emperor, empress, divine counterpart. They get it together. They bring it together. He shouldn't be struggling. She shouldn't be struggling because they divine beings. But when you with a karmic, they might be struggling. You might be struggling because you just got out of something else that was struggling. You ain't been single long enough to build yourself up, work on self, self-care, self-love, and healing. You got into another toxic-ass relationship, so you never got it out the mud by yourself. You ain't been single. It's relationship to relationship. So don't think, oh, I must not be a divine being because I ain't got shit. You ain't been single enough to build that up. An empress and an emperor... Spirit say, calm down. Is a person that can manifest on their own. Me? I'm a single mother of three boys. I done worked at Burger King, Walmart, Ross Dress for Less, Fit It. I don't work for no motherfucking body. Self-made boss. Empress. I'm the empress. The Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords right motherfucking now, and the Queen of Cups because I'm tapped the fuck in, which makes me an empress just like that. Born under the new moon in Pisces, by birthright I'm a high priestess. I'm going to do what the fuck I need to do to suffice on my own. That's an empress. See, I don't talk shit. I ain't got to, but I will just to make a point. If you a bitch, a woman, a lady, I mean well, however you name yourself, Talking about you want a man to take care of you? That's broke bitch shit. Unsubscribe. I'll start this whole channel. I don't give a fuck. I'm here to preach to teach. Get your own money. Because them the type of karmas that they meeting out there. If you're supposed to be an empress and you talking about you want a man to take care of you, then the same women he running into. So where, you, where the difference at? Oh, okay. What else, spirit? Boredom, detachment, dissatisfactory, not knowing what you want, afraid of rejection, people that rejected you before. What's this four cups? <laughs> I'm about to be done because I'm fired up. The devil. Well, oh Lord, what's this four of cups? The Wheel of Fortune. We got Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. People are coming your way to shift your life. 
Because they not sure what they want, they want what you got. They want to lynch, latch, leech themselves to you and your path. What you are fated, destined to fucking have. Because these motherfuckers are detached, they don't have shit going for themselves. They depressed, low down, and silly. They want what you got. Karmic contract, will of fortune. Here they come to stop you, block you, and get in the way of your fate and your destiny. But that's okay. Because look like with fate and good or bad karma coming look like a lot of bad karma is coming devil with the mother and it's time to pay up devil with the motherfucking will of fortune whatever damn contracts that were not fulfilled these people sitting here looking silly they shit didn't pan out for them it's your job to make sure they cannot attach themselves back into your divine energy and i know karmics watch me i don't give a fuck i said what i said is the divine being's job to make sure your mooching ass for any karmics watching have nowhere else to connect to. You will not siphon any divine beings on my watch. If they watch this motherfucking channel, they ain't going to be silly for your ass. Okay? And y'all heard what I said. Speaking nothing but facts. Ace of swords. And this is y'all motherfucking wake up call. Peace.